Hello and welcome to Solid Cat. Today we are going to make this uh, mechanism, Geneva mechanism, uh, like this. So let's start. I will uh, instead using the uh, calculation to determine the parameters of this mechanism. I will use only the geometric relations. Okay. So let's start. I will open a new assembly. Okay. I don't need this and I don't need this on the top plane I will draw a few circles here 15 millimeter and next is 80 millimeter and another one is 150 millimeter like so I will make convert it to construction geometry let me do some changes here please uh standards nc dim dimensions standard not standard remove and remove okay now this is okay this looks better now i will draw a center line from the quadrant here to quadrant there now i will uh, select this and uh, con offset entities i will 15.05 divided by 2 by directional cap ends like so okay like this now I will circle pat circle pattern it this 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 and this one five times number of instance five okay I will exit out of it I will make make sure that this and this is coincident and this and this and this is coincident the sketch is fully defined now I will draw a center line here and let me make a driven dimension here of 72 degree okay now I will draw a line from center of th this something somewhere here and I will give it a dimension of half of 72 is 36 degree like so now I will draw a three point three point circle first point is this and second point is this and the third point is the tangent to this and for construction purpose okay so we got the crank crank uh, center here the crank will use this center and uh, the pin uh, the roller will follow this path here Ro roller will not uh, uh, go off this path i will let me make this uh, this there is a let me delete this uh, there is another is there an, any other no now I will make this, this and this tangent like so. Here is the, the center point. Uh, the the pin will follow this path, enter here and exit right here. So unfollow this path to make this mechanism work. So I will draw a sketch here like so. This is the locking mechanism. This is 85 millimeter, like so. And I will trim the extra. Trim to closes is the method. And I will line a circular pattern it five times. Five in instances, like so. I will trim the extra, trim to closest. like so the sketch is fully defined I will exit out of the sketch okay on the top plane again I will draw another sketch I will draw a few circles here first is 15 millimeter and the second one is I will leave it here and determine what the dimension is the dim this one is 85 
42.585 mm so this will be 84.95 0 0.05 is the clearance for the mechanism to work properly without any friction unnecessary friction I will draw another circle here for outer edge and give it a dimension this dimension is 145 like so I will drop a point here and this point I will shift uh, press shift and select this and this and put it on the intersection like so and this is the point for pin the roller the roller is 15 millimeter like so and uh, I will draw another circle and I need a clearance here also between this and this I need a clearance here so this is 150 millimeter so this will be 150.05 like so 0, uh, 0 0.05 is the clearance I need uh, here to uh, to make less and less friction to avoid friction sorry I will trim the extra I don't need this I know don't need this this is fully defined and sketch is complete I will exit out of it also I have two sketches now I will insert a new part here and uh, on the top plane top plane I will draw a sketch and I will use this first sketch and convert it and extrude this this up to 15 millimeter okay one part is complete now I will uh, go for the second part I will exit this sketch I will make another part here and uh, on the top plane I will uh, I will use sketch and uh, sketch uh, 2 and convert entities like so and I will extrude it extrude this th this only up to 15 millimeter okay I will use this sketch I will use this sketch save yes I will extrude it I will use sketch 2 and uh, go for I will I will edit part sketch features extruded base boss I will use this 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 and the pin but reverse direction direction is reversed okay both parts are part are complete now I'll exit out of the sketch and do some I will lock all these for the motion study and external references lock all okay okay and there are mates in place mates I will suppress them suppress like so now I can move them a little I will mate I will use this and this mate okay 
I will use this and top plane top plane okay this is done this can move on its axis I will do the same I will use this and the top plane okay and I will use this and this going concentric okay like so now I will hide the sketches both sketch I don't need these sketches anymore I will give the part some kind of appearance here like so okay I will give it this also the appearance like something like that okay but I will uh, need three faces okay I press uh, accidentally I press the escape key I'll give you this X like so okay I will go to motion study now and I will use uh, motion analysis and uh, I will first give them contact okay now I will put a motor here and reverse direction speed is 12 okay okay everything looks fine let me check what are the redundancies in place let me go back to model and check this this is not coincident this is like so now it is okay it should work now moving part 2 suppressed nothing is suppressed everything is okay just locked locked it should work before it was working like this so this is how we use this this is the motion study how this is how you can make the Geneva cam Geneva mechanism I hope you like it and enjoy the video there were some mistakes I made I'm sorry for that I hope you like it and enjoyed it and please subscribe and thanks for watching